Oh, it finally can. We got our emergency back up here for my travel trailer. The big buddy. Mm. Let's see what's in the box there. Hey, they got tape down here. This would be for major, major emergencies. This is when you run out of gas or your generator won't work. But you have some propane. So you'll be able to have heat just in case. This is a big unit, <clears throat> but it's okay. <laughs> and I think that will toast out my rig pretty darn quick. Got us some squawky chickens. Squawky girls, why are you squawking about in there? You need to go lay an egg or something. But yeah, that is pretty big. Like I said. I wanted something for just uh, emergencies with uh, power went out. Uh, I RVs have uh, I have a gas heater for my RV. Actually, it's propane. I have a propane heater in my RV. Runs. The uh, fan on the RV heater runs on battery, but like I said, if your power goes out, um, you lose your battery after a while because it ain't getting charged. And so this thing will be my backup. So if I lose power. And I didn't have gas or my gas supply ran out for my generator. And if a gas station loses power, you ain't gonna get no gas. Um, I could get a bottle of propane, hopefully, if the propane doesn't run away from everybody buying up propane. But I got two propane bottles right there. I do have the uh, quick connect hose with the regulator on it. That'll hook up to one of those bottles pretty quick. And I'd have enough propane for a good, I would say, a five pound bottle of 
propane there would probably actually that's a 20 20 pound bottle of propane probably last uh, I would hope uh, three or four days a bottle depends but I'm in Texas it's not going to get that cold if it does it'll be cold during the night time looks like the manager's been doing a little trim work out here taking away my privacy from the road them bastards <laughs> I don't know why they cut those things down it's not like people are gonna miss the RV park but I do like to have the the trees kind of giving you a little privacy <clears throat> but oh well that shit will grow back well that's pretty neat been waiting for this thing for almost a week now what do you do if you smell gas don't try to light the appliance <laughs> Uh, that's pretty smart. Extinguish any open flame. Shut off gas. Two appliance. Alright. Well, I'll be, uh, pretty interested. I bet you that thing is... I've been seeing the videos on... The, the Mr. Heater heaters, everybody's saying they're awesome. We'll find out. Let's see, Let's see if this is plastic or what. I think it is a plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. Plastic. Kind of expensive for a plastic heater. But what can you do? It's gonna be a good portable heater. I'm not a big fan on propane heat, especially inside an RV. Um, I'm not worried about carbon monoxide and all that. I have a, a propane detector, leak detector. <coughs> it's about as uh, accurate as a dog fart. Um, those LP detectors go off on everything from perfume to insecticides to farts to whatever you want to put in front of it. It'll set off those LP detectors. Um, propane heat puts out moisture in the air. Your windows will start sweating. Um, it, propane heat's not a dry heat, so your walls will sweat. Everything will start to sweat inside your rig. Yeah. So, I'm more of a space heater guy. In West Texas, you get away with having one of those uh, 1,000 watt to 1,500 watt space heaters in your rig to keep you nice and toasty. And that's what I use, uh, the electric space heaters. It's a dry heat. It'll dry things out. Your windows won't fog up. Nothing gets sweaty. <coughs> with propane you'll get constipation on your windows your windows will fog up and uh, it just uh, 
not that good but you know if you lose your power and gasoline <coughs> you don't have a gasoline supply or you can't get gasoline for some reason uh, you're stuck with propane so better safe than sorry heat is heat you just have to deal with the condensation from the propane all right well that's good we got my mr. heater I'm waiting for my mr. heater bag to get here so I could stick it in there instead of in the box all right well thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye bye